I've been at this game for 37 years. I made a calculation. And I've been elaborating it. So there might be points that it's not so evident why they come. But I came to the conclusion that the reason uh, such plans fail and fr uh, get frustrated, there are three factors which people who deal with these peace plans simply don't pay attention to. One is the issue of duality, what they call it. If it's two parties, it's one against the other. It's a, us and them. Uh, and the thinking is locked into this. The second is that the parties who really count, the decisive ones, to the conflict are quite religious or religiously oriented. And they need a story. It's not a simple, secular uh, kind of thing. They need to satisfy the story, which is their worldview. The third is that the very language that we use for, uh, for this problem precludes solutions. As long as we speak about Palestine, as long as we speak about a Jewish state, we are not using the useful terms for this. We are trapped. Um, as for <clears throat> the, trying to find some common story, we find that there are the Abrahamic uh, religions and they all believe in one God, etc. But in truth, each one developed its own scriptures. The Jews are not the people of the, of the Old Testament, as most of you may think. We have been the people of the Talmud. But the Tanakh is the common language, is a common source. From it may come ideas and concepts, and I will come to very specific ideas of social justice in a minute. But anyway, I say it should spring from there. It should make sense in terms of the Tanakh, the Old Testament. Now, the term Jews, uh, it's not what the Tanakh wants. The Tanakh never mentions a Jewish state or a Jewish people. It mentions Israel as a confederation of 12 tribes, of which Judah is one of them. But the view of the Tanakh is that not that two are always quarreling with each other from Cain and Hevel all the way up, but that 12 make for reconciliation. And so it's not only the matter of Palestinians and Israelis and Jews. There are many more sides to this uh, equation which could help by taking away the polarity, like Christians or post-Christians who are lovers of Israel. Now, the word, the very name Palestinian is an inven invention of the invaders from Europe. It has nothing to do with the local uh, traditions. It has been imposed upon this country three times by invasions. And now the European community like very much to support it. But it's not, it's a Palestinian's interest. We, uh, Miss and I will later explain about the Jewish origin of Palestinians, but so I'm free from that. But what is a plan that prevents the uh, duality. It's one that brings all many uh, more factors into. And in one of the uh, new things is also to regard that the territory is not finished by so many square kilometers. In this generation, humankind is going through the greatest change ever been and there is something called cyberspace. There is something called um, this that can go the whole world. So the communities, the 12 communities which I identify as being parts of Israel, not all of them Jewish by any man, not even the majority of them Jewish. Uh, the, but some of them will live in cyberspace but declare themselves as citizens, pay poll tax, get a vote, which is not one-to-one, -one, but maybe a few percents, but still may have a much bigger community, one in which 
the fear of the Israelis from a Muslim Arab majority in one country, which is paralyzing, will go. Okay, this is only half.